Richard Wagner once said, Joy is not in things, it is in us. We often look for joy and happiness outside which is temporary and unreal, but as soon as we start to look in, we would definitely find the happiness that we were longing for. Namaskaram, I'm your show host Mithali Uhuri. Welcome you all with love and gratitude to this another bonus episode where we will be discussing how self-gratitude brings us the real joy that we have been searching out in the world or in the things, how it makes us a better human being and raises our self-esteem. So without any further delay, let's get into it. Self-gratitude is really important because it makes you more human, more humble, more joyful, boosts your confidence, strengthens your relationship with oneself, builds self-trust and belief, improves your emotional and mental health well-being, changes your perspective completely to see the world with a different angle and also enhances your self-esteem. And that's all we want, isn't it? To know ourselves more in a better way, to find what our heart longs for, to find our purposes, to find our life's meaning. So build a habit of paying gratitude to oneself. Wake up every morning with a feeling of gratitude towards God, towards your life, towards yourself. Because it is said that a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. So here are three simple ways to practice self-gratitude. Number one, compliment yourself. It is very important to appreciate yourself for who you are. So praise yourself for having such a beautiful smile, for having such a beautiful body. Appreciate yourself for taking out time for your health and well-being by either meditating or working out or so. Just celebrate yourself. In fact, hug yourself out. What harm can be caused anyway? Compliment your abilities, your talents, your capabilities. Number two, use affirmations daily. For example, say I'm so grateful to me for being so strong, for standing up, for being so confident, for being so calm in almost every situation. Number three, start journaling. Simply use a gratitude journal to list down what you like the most about yourself. For example, the best thing about myself is fill in the blank. I love that I am great at, again, fill in the blank. I love that I am really skilled in, fill in the blank. Start listing out your strengths like I am dependable, I am efficient in whatever work I do and so on and so forth. Also note down all the compliments that you receive from others. So while practicing self-gratitude, it is very important to be specific. For example, if you have recently handled a situation that was pretty difficult or faced any challenges or obstacles, then jot down every detail about it and how well you handled it. This way, you'll get to know more of your strengths and even your weaknesses. And in fact, you can work out on your weaknesses and convert it into one of your strength or quality. The more you know about yourself, the more rewarded you will feel, the more happier and peaceful you will be. Alrighty then, thank you so much for listening to me till the end. I hope you found this episode helpful because that's what my life mission is. And of course, your feedback would be really appreciated. Please do not forget to subscribe to Self Talk Show. More episodes and more awareness is coming your way, so stay tuned and keep self-talking. You can reach out to me for questions, queries or suggestions at www.selftalkshow.com or through social media pages on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you again and see you with another episode.